94XO, it's Moni XO. I'm here at One Source Records with Solo and Anthony J. Make sure you guys stay tuned. You're watching 94XO. So tell me, guys, like, what is your guys' story? Like, how did you two meet, and how did you guys fall in love with music? I'm going to let you take that one. Music, music has been a part of my life for a very long time. You know, I grew up in a household like most black families, you know, mama in the kitchen cooking, mm -hmm. got her music going, Marvin Gaye, yeah. you know what I'm saying, Temptations, all that good stuff. Yeah. So music was just, I mean, it's in my DNA. Mm -hmm. um, I started singing at a very young age, you know, doing talent shows, that sort of thing. I was in a boy band back hey. in the day. Yeah. Shout out to my fellas, y'all know who you are. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just, just through the grind, the constant grind, uh, going backstage at the Fox, that sort of thing, we were yeah. fortunate enough to uh, run into, shout out to Ron Isley and Angela mm -hmm. Wimbush, who gave us our start. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We ended up linking with the late Woody Johnson, uh, worked with Woody, and through Woody, we had the opportunity to, to work with uh, Andre, Andre Harrell and, and you know, a lot of the, the, the greats that are now that have passed on. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, again, our story was, you know, we got, I feel like, we went as far as God wanted us to go, you know what I mean? So we signed with Universal. Uh, it was short-lived, but, you know, again, had an opportunity to open up for some awesome people, you know, yeah. from Tupac to, to, to MC Breed and all those guys. So, again, I'm old school with it. So, I mean, again, music has been a part of my life forever, mm -hmm. forever. So a little bit about myself, man. I, I've been doing music for a while. Um, started off in church, of mm -hmm. course you know, singing in the choir, then start singing in school, then started a group called 3G. Uh, we had a dope record on the radio called Bear Rock. Mm -hmm. End up getting Bear Rock all around the world. Like, Bear Rock was big until, you know, some stuff happened where a record got taken. Mm -hmm. uh, and then started working with Tyler Perry and his camp. Ronnie Garrick, my old boss, man, he showed me a lot about the game. Like, show me how to write music the right way how to how to get deals the right way just how to act in this business yeah. and, and so it helped help me grow you know what i'm saying help me do what i needed to do to grow in this business and then end up opening up a few studios in st louis and so i happened to open up the studio with with ben luke the guy that you yeah. did, did an interview with so we opened up a studio together where I met this artist named KB the Singer. Mm -hmm. So KB the Singer came about, and I was just impressed. I, I started screaming on the phone. I was like, dude, I need to talk to this guy. I need to meet I need, I need to talk to you. So once I did get a meeting with him, his, his dad came. I was like, who is this dude coming with him? Is this his brother or something? I was like, who is this dude? He must have got a bodyguard already. He must have heard I'm crazy. So, so end up meeting with him. Shoot, I was like, I thought that man Anthony was doing a meeting, you know what I'm saying, versus KB, because we just started talking about everything. Yeah, yeah, you facts. Know? And then and then one day we was at my uncle cigar lounge and um we just said, you know what, man, we just need to start a company together. Mm -hmm. It was both our decisions, yeah. just like we need to start something, man, but we need to make it big. Let's start one source records. And that's it. That's where we are yes, now. Well, the growth. Shout out yeah. one source, baby. <laughs> yeah, man. And, and this is where we at now. You know what I'm saying? This is where we at. We building out these artists, pushing out this stuff, man. We actually got people in here working right now, so yep. that's why it might be noisy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but we got to keep business rolling. <laughs> I was going to say, though, like just to kind of go back a little mm -hmm, bit mm -hmm. and talk about the growth that you guys have yeah. went through. Like, how does it feel seeing where you are now? Oh, it's amazing, And, man. yeah, like, going through the music business and seeing, like, the behind the scenes. Because, you know, a lot of people, yeah, yeah. when it comes to music, they see everybody or everything, like, in front of yeah. the camera. But it's a yeah. whole bunch yeah, it's, of it's, stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of work <laughs> that goes yeah. into it. Facts. So, I mean, even with this building, with this building that we're in right now, Solo and I spent countless hours in Ooh. here, you know what I mean? Painting and, yes. and, and you know, the, everything from the ceiling to the walls to, yeah. you know, it just, it takes hard work. It's yeah. not yeah. something that's going to come yeah. overnight. Mm -hmm. Shout out to, to Dre. Yeah, you know, yeah, Dre right. came through on that construction yeah. tip, did his thorough thizzle. Mm -hmm. Whenever we get opportunities to be in front of cameras, we have to make sure that we shout out yeah, shout the out folks that have done these things. Well, we've got an yeah. amazing team, so yeah. shout out to Kurt, shout out to Paul, shout yeah. out to Janelle, you know what I mean? We yeah. we can't do what we're doing without these people, you know what I mean? Shout out mm -hmm. to Fan Fame Productions, yes, yes, Renelle, yes. Uh, yeah. oh, pull yeah, through, man. baby. 
and, that, and, and it's working for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Now, yeah. how does it feel though to manage other people? So it's, I love it. I'm not yeah. gonna stunt. Like, yeah. yeah, I was an artist myself, mm -hmm. uh, but to be honest with you, I have fun managing people because I I, I want to help. Like, I feel like our city, which you know, St. Louis, we we are scared to help each other. Yeah. Because we don't want to see the next person really go beyond. So, you know, me and my brother, Big Tone, we help countless of artists back in the day. So now that me and Anthony are doing business together, man, it's so, it's like, this, this is my favorite business part. And I say this all the time. <laughs> my favorite. Man, this is my favorite, man. It's, it's nah. because we talk about everything yeah. when, you know, this is my OG still, you know. So we talk about everything when it comes to finance mm -hmm. or whatever the case may be, you know. And, and he always say, dude, you act like an old he got old, old man. soul. He got an <laughs> old know? soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, man, I, I love it, man. The artists that we got, KB, the singer, we got Jacob, we got Jane. Working with a few I'm other gonna artists. I'm going to say man. shout them all yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I wanted them to be here, man, but you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you would yeah. definitely get an interview with them. We want to set that up because, yeah. 94XO is Look at the 94XO. Yeah. It's boom. It's boom. Yeah. And we also have a, a seven city tour yeah. that we're working on uh, with KB the singer. So mm -hmm. we got some things, some things happening here yeah. at One Source. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what do, would you say is the most challenging things that you have went through so far with having this record label, opening this one up specifically? Uh, COVID. Mm. COVID. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, COVID definitely did it, man, because, you know, we've been having a lot of people come through, like the Metro Boomins to the Sunny Digitals to the MOOC. You know, we had a lot of people come through here and and that's during COVID. Like, like, but it's been hard because it's it's hard to get pictures with everybody. You don't want to be close to everybody. Right, somebody over so, here, somebody yeah, right. over there. Right. It's just, it's, it's so tough. And then, you know, a lot of stores closed on us. We're trying to trying to get everything open yeah. and, right. and and get equipment that we need. It, it's just been tough, man. Delays. We actually recorded a couple of American Idol and um uh what is the voice artists oh, and they've stuff been too. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been yeah, we've been getting a lot of people in here and it's just been working for us. You know what I'm saying? I, I won't say their name because you yeah. Know, yeah. Because I want that to stay private. When the project come out, I just want to be happy. Yeah. <laughs> and, get, and get our plaque or Grammy or whatever we're going to get. <laughs> right. Yes, Lord. Yeah. So, how, have you, how have you felt about it? Any challenges? Yeah, I mean, in? pretty much what he said. I mean, yeah. COVID shut down, of course, the the, the world, basically. Yeah. So, I mean, you there weren't any tours and that sort of thing, which is yeah. huge in our industry because when you got new artists, you want them to be able to do shows, yeah. but of course with COVID, they weren't able to do that. So I feel like we got behind the ball with a lot of that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Now that, that things are opening back up, mm -hmm. it's gonna give us an opportunity to really take off. Mm -hmm. I was gonna uh, say, it's about to be, everybody's about, about to be, to be yeah. outside. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I'm kind of curious about how you guys yeah. have been mentally yeah. trying to prepare oh, and yeah. get everything oh, together. COVID ready, yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 We COVID ready, yeah. I ain't gonna yeah. stop. Yeah. We, we we just ready to get back out here, man. Mm -hmm. It's like we got God, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, First and we gonna we gonna God got us through this, man. We are gonna be alright. Like I done had I did have COVID, so I was afraid mm -hmm. that you know would that some could happen. Yeah. But that's why God allowed me to set my family up so in case something do happen, we all good. Mm -hmm. So I ain't, I ain't afraid of COVID, man. I'm not gonna sit there and hide from it. You know, it is yeah. what it is. I have on my mask still when I go out places. I definitely will have on my mask. I'm glad to hear yes, that. Because some people have been out just. No, nah, <laughs> that's a whole ready. different story. <laughs> yeah, we mask ready over here. <laughs> right. <laughs> now, what advice would you guys give to people that are, in a sense, trying to follow in your footsteps or just even like musicians that come in here and they're yeah. like, hey, I want to work with you guys? Like, what would you say to them? You, you got to live it. Yeah. You got to breathe it. If it's yeah. something that you really, really want, you got to be willing to grind for yeah. it. Yeah. Because it's not going to happen overnight. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You're Say gonna that again. It's not going to happen overnight. Not you alone. will have setbacks. That's, mm -hmm. that's all part of the game. I mm -hmm. feel like the setbacks and the obstacles are there to make us stronger. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if you, don't, if you can't appreciate the obstacles, then you're not going to really enjoy the success. Mm -hmm. Right. I love that. Yeah. Rewind Me? that. 
No, yeah. I'm Facts. <laughs> I need to patent that so y'all don't yeah. steal my stuff. You definitely I don't want to see no hashtags out there. You know what we're gonna yeah. do is nail the patent. Yeah, yeah. Tonight. Facts. Uh, it costs a lot of money. Yeah. If you don't have the money for it, man, figure out how to get the money. <laughs> get a team together. It, it, you have to do this stuff just because you want. You you want to have a team, man. You, you want to come in this room and take it like this famous sign right here. Look at it. Everybody <laughs> has came in here, took a picture in front of the sign. Yeah, Murph, yeah. all the people, man. It's just been amazing, man. Like I I I love this so much to have this as a young black company. This is amazing, man. Yeah. This is amazing. We have a team full of we diverse. I ain't gonna yeah. stop. We diverse, man. We got we got some heavy hitters that help us with everything. I'm just excited. I would say yeah. I'm so this excited so for you. I love the yeah. fact that all that energy is yeah, coming it's up so in dope, here. Man. Positive I, energy. I see all good things coming. Yeah, You're man. about to be booked and busy all yeah. in the summertime. Speak it. I'm Speak excited. It. Yeah. Speak it. This is like the St. Louis QC. I would yeah. say. I would say everybody's coming in and everybody's out. Everybody's coming yeah. in and out, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Coach now. K and P. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. All right, now you guys ready for my closer Ray Jar? Uh, no. You're not? Okay, <laughs> let's, well, let's I, need, get it. I let's... need you to get ready, okay? So what uh, you guys are going to do, whoever wants to go first, right. pick two questions out, and then you're going to answer them the best way that you can. Good luck. I can't help you. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you hopeful? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, what makes me hopeful? Said family. Uh... Man, to be honest with you, my my life, man. Yeah. I don't even stop. I, I live a dope life. Like I can't even lie. I I I'm excited. As a kid that grew up from where I grew up, I man, I made it. I'm I'm good. So yeah, yeah. that's what makes me hopeful. I love it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. God, it's a long question. <laughs> like Lord. Choose. Can I pick another? No. What does it say? Uh, if but, you can, uh, if you can carry a single is a single discussion with anybody, what would you say? That's it. That's not an easy question, but it's an easy question. Um, <laughs> music. <laughs> music, and I'm glad everything happened the way it did mm. in 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 the past, so I can get to where I'm at now. Yeah. That's what I say. I love it. So that's where I'm at, man. I live a dope life, so I'm excited. You hey, ready for your I ain't, man. I'm not here. You Come ready? On. I'm ready. Follow the no, dope family. No. <laughs> Make sure you follow the dope family. We subscribe <laughs> to us on YouTube, all that stuff. Dope family. Yeah. Oh, I thought you picked three questions for a second. Let's <laughs> see what I got. <laughs> what is the biggest lesson you've learned so far? Ooh. Nothing in life is easy. Mm. Uh, like I said before, if you want it bad enough, be willing to to uh, see it through. Yeah. Yeah. If you want it bad enough, be willing to see it through because it ain't going to come easy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And patience is a virtue. That is. Yeah, that is. Which foreign language would you like to learn? You got this random saying? question. Right. Yeah, that's a crazy question. I would love to learn French. Why? How you want to? What you it's just say? you know I'm you think on. you think French. Why? It's, it's just it's sexy. You know what, what, what I'm saying? Say, dog? I'm so saying. What you gonna say? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, I, wifey in the building. I want to be able to speak French to my wife. Yeah. What you gonna say to it? We we. It's going Facts, crazy. man. French all oh, day. Man. So all good. day. <laughs> well, thank you so much, you guys. So let everybody know where they can find you guys yeah. on social media, follow you, all of that. So you can find us on all social media, one source record label, everywhere. 94 And I'm on the XO. We are out. <laughs> Be easy. <laughs> It's your girl, Moni XO, and you just finished a 94 XO interview. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment to our YouTube channel, and follow us on social media platforms. Be easy.